Hey guys, Mabel Tell here. Welcome back to the final week of my Pride Month Warrior series. The art challenge where I design warrior cats based on LGBT plus pride flags. Every year for the month of June. This is year five and week five. And today we're focusing on kits of Wind Clan. Let's get into it. I am both excited and sad for our first flag of the day. Excited as it's one of mine, the bisexual flag. And sad as it's my last year with this set of flags before moving on to different ones. Let's take a look at the design. In years past, I've used purple, pink, and blue for the base color, so I could pick any now. I went for a pale blue as I've traditionally kept the bi designs pretty dark, more in line with the flag. I filled in the purple eyes next. Again, I've done all the colors for the eyes, so I'm just doing what I want today. For the pink, pale again on the ears and nose. As far as patterns go, I wanted a dotted and leopard print-like look. I did that in a darker blue, also adding some darker purple around some of the clusters of spots. That same purple went on the muzzle. The darker blue also went on the ear tips. And that's this adorable little guy done. As for a name, based on their appearance and some family tree decisions I made later, I wanted them to be called Berry Kit, and one day Berry Spot for that dotted pelt. Like I said, I figured out pretty quick where I wanted him to fit in the family tree of Wind Clan cats that I've been working on. I want him to be the son of Little Brook, making him grandson to my first bi cat, Berry Star of River Clan. Felt like a nice full circle moment. Let's move on to the asexual flag. This is one that is always fun and easy to translate into a cat design, and today was no exception. And it's another one that I'm sad to see go, as it's one I always think of my best friend while drawing. I hope they like this one. I decided on a purple base, but made it much lighter to make them stand out from the other ace cats I've drawn. White is the only color here I haven't used for eyes, so I did that this time. I used purple again in a darker shade that I got attached to. On the tail, paws, and face, mostly in triangular stripe shapes. The black went on the ear tips and the nose. The grey got paler too and went on the belly fluff. Let's talk names. I wanted to use belly as a suffix for said fluff. So meet light kit slash light belly. For the family tree, he looks the most like Dusk Puddle, but Dusk Puddle already has three children, one in every drawing I've done since the first. So I decided to make Light Kit his nephew instead. He'll just have to wait until next year for possible parents. Next up is the non-binary cat. Can I just say that I'm so happy none of these flags today have been green? I was getting a bit tired of my extra challenge of using green for the fur this year. This is another one that I've already done each color for the base, so let's do purple again, as it's my favorite. A little more vibrant than the shade I used in year one. This is also another where white is the only eye color that I haven't used. So white eyes for this purple baby too. For the yellow, I wanna do something really fun. I kept it pretty bright and used it for lightning shaped stripes all over their body. Also for a back and head stripe, and on the tail tip. It's certainly unique, but that's what we're here for. The black simply went on the inner ear, under paw, and on the nose. I think they look super sweet. For a name, I absolutely had to call her Lightning Kit, and I liked Lightning Sky for a warrior name. So family for Lightning Kit. With that purple pelt and those white eyes, they look a fair bit like Light Kit. So let's sibling them up, both children to a sibling of Deputy Dusk Puddle. Now, the final cat of the drawing and the final cat of the year for this challenge. The lesbian flag. Going out with a bang with a gorgeous flag. For a base color, I've used white, pale orange, and dark pink. That left either dark orange or pale pink. I was leaning towards pale pink until I had another idea for it. So dark orange it is. This color has real fox vibes, so that became the inspiration for this design. 
with white being added to the bottom of the face, on the chest, tail tip, and ears. For the pale pink, someone commented years ago that I could use a color like this for a scar, which I thought was genius, and then proceeded to forget for ages. Until recently, I was looking through all the comments for flag suggestions, so I had to do it here. Some jagged scars on their back, maybe from a hawk or owl attack. Also on the nose. For the last two colors, the pale orange and the dark pink, they went in the eyes. I think they are super cute and certainly stand out from the other three kits. And the background, as you'll end up seeing. So, a name. I wanted to use Fox in honor of my inspiration, but WindClan already has a fox whisker. So I decided to use it for the suffix instead. So here is Red Kit, later Red Fox. For family, I have two other Red Wind Clan cats, Acorn Flame and Grand Kit Shinepelt. So I decided to make Red Kit a younger sibling to Shinepelt, making her a child of Sweet Star and Fox Whisker. I like that she also gets her name from one of her parents this way. And that's it. Thanks for watching! This series is so special to me, and I very much appreciate all the love it always gets. Warrior Cats is pretty abysmal in terms of queer rep, but the fandom is anything but, and I love that. If you have any flags that I haven't done before that I should take inspiration from next year or in years to come, let me know. I'll add them to my growing list. Next month I have some big plans too. I'll be reviewing a Thief in Thunder clan, hopefully doing some art fight stuff, and trying something pretty different than my usual content. So I hope you'll check that out too. I wish you a happy Pride Month for the last time this year, and I'll see you next Thursday.